Hey there, dystopians. What's up? It's bad guys. Welcome to my studio. Um, I want to do a quick thing today uh, about the automation channels in logic and in controlling the wave state. This took me a little bit to figure out, so it wasn't very clear. So hopefully this helps somebody else too. Um, what I've got here is my wave state. Uh, I've got the Volcor X portal pluck we talked about and I showed in another video a while ago. Um, it's just a pulse pluck. And then I've got my poly six filter set cut off at like, like midnight. And then the, uh, we're going to map the cutoff to the shape performance and then control that with, um, continuous controllers. So let's start with the, uh, wave state editor. So in the wave state editor here, we can see, um, we've got my patch loaded up and it's ready to go. I'm going to click first on the poly six filter that's already set and I'm going to click the cutoff wheel. Um, you'll notice it highlight here on the screen, but uh, if you look here, I've got uh, the modulations parameter set to cut off and uh, that automatically appears when you click on it. I just added this. We're going to attach it to the shape performance knob that's under mod knob shape performance knob. The intensity is kind of like how much the automation affects it. So we're going to leave it um, kind of high on this one for this effect. Once that's done, I'm going to click on the shape wheel here at the top and make sure that that control is set to CC 74, which in MIDI is the brightness um, in Logic piano roll. So I'll show you that in a second. But let's make sure those are all set. This one I left it kind of uh, kind of low. I don't. You can play with this and see how much you want your curve to affect things. Um, uh, uh, notably too, we need to make sure that we have a little bit of shape left on this controller when we do the automation or otherwise it won't have anything to affect. So I'm going to bring that up a bit so you can hear the lead running in the background. leave it like right here kind of crushed by the filter a little bit I'm gonna take it back to logic here all right check this out so in logic you can see here I've got the wave state controller running this is an external control right here just have an EQ on it uh, and right now I'm just pumping it out to a, a bus that has nothing turned on open the piano roll there's an automation section here you can find it by clicking this little uh, automation curve button uh, and by default, it's set to like note velocity. I'm going to drop this down and set MIDI control 74, which is the CC 74 we set in the wave state. That's for brightness. Now you can do this with a, a mouse or whatever. Um, I, this happens to be a touch screen, so I'm just gonna hand draw it. But what we draw in this curve down here will affect that filter now. So I can draw my automations in. Let's wait till the screen refreshes here on the loop. Now that I've got my automations in whatever positions I want them, I can affect how much they affect uh, the sound by back in the wave state. I can change these intensity parameters to really make it swing widely. Anyway, this took forever to figure out. Maybe that's just me, but hopefully it's helpful to somebody else. So um, be kind to one another. Don't trust your technology. I'll see you out there. Thank you.